headlines today, concerns on INEX server as Commission begins online voter registration. President Mohamed Buhari cancels trip to London. And rescue operation continues at Miami building collapse. I'm Aisha Salihu with the news update. Online voter registration exercise introduced by the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, is an innovation in Nigeria's electoral system. There are, however, concerns about the security and the legality of the process. Trustee Ves Mardia Umar samples opinions on the innovation. An ICT expert, Olakulia Laba, says the online voter registration will not affect the security of the INEC server if the Commission takes the necessary steps. If you ask me, considering what's happening in Nigeria today, be it security, infrastructure uh, challenges, how many locations can people transit to to get themselves registered? And considering the criticality of voters' registration in our um, voting exercise, uh, the next thing for us is to look at what can we do to make it better. So online registration is the way to go and is a welcome development. For Kazim Oladili, Nigerians need to be sensitized on the process for the voter registration exercise. Let's talk about the sensitization yes. uh, and what have the government done to sensitize public to let people know that the online registration has commenced on the 23rd of this month. As I'm talking to you right now that the sensitization is very low. A lot of people are not aware that this thing is going on and this is what is going to determine the future of this country in the next two years. The Commission expects eligible Nigerians to access the portal and provide relevant details before moving on to complete physical registration at designated centers. Martia Umar, Trust TV News, Abuja. We earlier had an interview with INEC National Chairman for National Commissioner for Information and Voter Education, Festus Okoye. Are there no fears of possible hack into the INEC server, INEC database, ahead of the CVR exercise? Well, you know, this is the first time we are deploying um, uh, an online portal for purposes of um, registration of voters. Uh, so they, definitely there will be hiccups. Uh, we have taken into consideration the fact that this is a new innovation is a new creative and uh, people may attempt uh, to hack into our uh, our engineers in house engineers are in measures uh, to make sure that we pro our data pr protect our back end and also protect um, uh, uh, everything we are doing uh, so there's that possibility but we are taking care of it in terms of uh, our own security at the back end I'd like to know, is there any provision in the Electoral Act of uh, an online continuous voter registration? Well, uh, you, you know, the Commission's uh, voters register is in a digital form. Uh, and the uh, Electoral Act uh, 2010 amended has also given, uh, both the Electoral Act and the Constitution, uh, has given the Commission uh, the discretion uh, to uh, compile, update and revise uh, the voters register. Uh, so what we have done is to uh, comply with the law uh, by making sure that uh, prospective registrar uh, start their registration online, fit their biometrics at the various registration centers. Uh, this is in compliance with section 10, uh, subsection 2 of the Electoral Act, which makes it mandatory that every prospective registrant uh, must appear physically before a registration officer at a registration center uh, for purposes of uh, uh, voice registration. And so people are going to do pre-registration online and then complete their biometrics and their facials at the various registration centers. And so we are compli complying strictly with uh, the, 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 the law and the constitution. Okay, just one last question. You know, this uh, continuous voters registration exercise was supposed to uh, have taken place in 2020, but then due to the 
coronavirus, it moved down to 2021. Are you assuring Nigerians now that the commission is completely ready, that by Monday there are no hitches? Everyone can just go ahead to a cyber cafe or just access their phones or devices and then register for the uh, continuous voters registration exercise? No, what, what we have done is that we have staggered the issue of um, uh, continuous voters registration. Uh, only thing that we commence on the 28th of this month is the online registration. Uh, people are going to register online. Uh, they are, the portal will give them a date when they are going to go to uh, the various uh, state or local government offices uh, to go and complete uh, their, 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 the biometric capture. On the 19th day of July uh, this year, uh, both the online registrants and the people who are going to go and register physically will go to the, either the state office or the local government offices uh, for purposes of registration. Now, if the security situation permits, we will not devolve uh, to, the other, um, to the other centers because we intend to create a total of 2,673 centers, deploy over 5,346 uh, uh, staff for purposes of this situation. Uh, so it's not completely within our purview. Uh, security situation permitting, we intend to capture every uh, capturable Nigerian, every registrable Nigerian, uh, during this exercise, which will last um, approximately one year. Okay, thank you so much, Festus Okoye, National Commissioner in Charge of Voter Education. Thank you so much, and I wish you well. President Mohamed Buhari's plan to travel to London on Friday for a scheduled medical follow up has been postponed. Special Advisor, Media and Publicity Femi Adeshina announced this in a statement. The last time the president visited London in March, protesters gathered at Abuja House to demand that he returns to Nigeria. No reason is given for the postponement of the trip. Police in Lagos State have arrested father of Chidima Ojuku, the lady alleged, alleged to have killed Chief Executive Officer of Super TV, Yusifo Ataga. Arrest of the lady surprised many students at University of Lagos, where Chidima is a 300-level student. Coming up after the break, 34 Sharia court judges take oath in Kana State. Stay with us. Get latest updates on current topical issues and breaking news by downloading the Trust TV mobile app on your Android devices. Go online, click Google Play Store, search Trust TV, install the app and get doses of unfiltered information on happenings all over the world in your pocket. Trust TV, documenting the Nigerian story. The Borno State University was one of the projects commissioned by President Muhammadu Buhari in Maiduguri. Established in 2016 amid significant progress under Governor Kashim Shetima, the State University has since 2019 witnessed accelerated infrastructural development by the Zulum administration. Zulum completed the Senate building, road network and landscaping. Zulum freshly built two giant hostels with 150 rooms for 1,200 students and 34 duplexes and bungalows for professors, senior and intermediate staff. Zulum also began a teaching hospital towards medical programs. Professor Zulum aims to make the Borno State University one of the best tertiary institutions in Nigeria and beyond. I you all concerned that look we are just going further into a deep pit uh, it is easy to say oh yes a government is elected oh yes we made promises to, to to secure and as you know humans are not robots so maybe not hundred percent of nigerians will stand over the matter the majority without the majority peace, are without peace, peace without there can be there nothing can be nothing, be nothing can happen in fairness to the question i, I have had this uh, I'll be dishonest to say I'm not aware of this reporting. My name is Samuel Dada. Yakub Isa, and I'm not a video. And you know, Mufa. It's time to move on.
Looking for private jobs, sometimes you get employed and the process of payment, you know, you undergo some kind of stress. You're watching Trust TV News Update. Here is a recap on some of the top stories. INEX server risks no hacking threat as online voter registration debuts. President Buhari reshadows planned London trip. Moving on to more stories, the senator representing Nasara West in the National Assembly, Abdullahi Adamu, has joined the debate on concerns over the nation's growing foreign debt profile. Appearing on Trust TV's current affairs program, 30 Minutes, the lawmaker says borrowing is inevitable for a developing country like Nigeria, arguing that developed nations are highly indebted. As far as I'm concerned, the issue of sustainability is what you do with it. America is supposed to be the, the richest country in this world. You, as a journalist that I know, with the record I know, how much if they ask you, is America indebted? If you'd be, you'd, you'd be shocked. I have nothing against any government going for loan. For what I'm concerned with, what is done with the loan? What do you do with the money? No government that I know, and I'm 75 years this year, no government that I know in this country has worked on the infrastructure of the government, probably apart from maybe Gawan's government during the war, after the, immediately after the Civil War, has invested in infrastructure like this government is doing. Nobody talks about this. Everybody talks just on the, on the, on the negatives of this government. Nobody, no government understands to be challenged. Adamu said that the APC administration has invested more on infrastructural development than any other administration in the country. Watch out for the full interview on Trust TV. Chief Judge of Kano State, Justice Noura Segir, has sworn in 34 new Sharia court judges with a call on them to dispense justice without fear or favor. The judges were subjected to pass a written examination before their appointments. The new judges were appointed to address the problem of workload in the Sharia court in the state. Justice Noura Segir observes as oath of office on the judges is administered. Qadi Sabo Sadiq is among the judges appointed and he has these words of advice for himself and his colleagues. Whatever you do, if you do right, Allah will reward you twice or in two ways. But when you do, you try your best and uh, divert it or do something that is not what you're supposed to do, Allah will reward you one. But when you do your own choice or what you, uh, your heart tell you that you should do, and follow the way of Satan. Allah will do it. I hope Allah will guide us and uh, give us opportunity to do what is right. Chief Registrar, Kano State Sharia Court of Appeal, Haruna Kali, counseled the new judges to work in accordance with laid down procedure in Sharia jurisprudence. Away from Nigeria, rescue operation continues at the collapsed 12 story building north of Miami, searching for survivors trapped in the building. At least one person is reported dead and 99 persons are missing, although cause of the collapse is unclear.
who was dead and 99 people were possibly missing after a 12-story residential building partially collapsed early Thursday in Miami-Dade County, Florida. So far, 12 people were injured, including two in critical condition. Rescue crews are still searching for survivors as a massive emergency response to the incident in the town of Surfside, and the rescue operation could take a week or even longer. It's still unclear exactly how many residents were in the building when the incident happened. Surfside officials said they couldn't confirm any number of missing people, but the situation looked dire. Video footage from the scene showed a large section of the building collapsed into a pile of rubble and a young boy was pulled alive from the rubble. Built in 1981, the building has 136 units and is located across from a sandy beach in the oceanfront community of about 6,000 people. And that does kick off a Ghanaian man with 47 wives and 240 children. I was a share our NGO TV so I could fit TV and a Facebook. I was on Sa Nifas when you the right and your corner, you first one Casa Eba Medal Honor. Ah, Monsumi, we know, and corner soccer crack. I only share blue one. Oh, no, say a one woman, a one honor. At the same time, when in Nana no more so, at Nasa, a chair in Funinibi, and also a young share, or two more say Nana. Kitina, Wumu here, Pa, Wunya Yanka, Police, Juma, Nesu, Juma, Yeni, a pine humano, and here far, um, ranting him about Angels, a woman near this idea, a woman tea, and a buyer, and like I said, a money boy. What I will mumble to me at Chay, a Bakosan Kakra, a year no mere saying, a Maya saying, Matus, a last born, Grane, make Pedia last born, Nama, Yashano. He's indeed the King Solomon of our time. On that note, we have come to the end of Trust TV News Update. Don't forget to follow us on all of our social media platforms at Trust TV News. I'm Aisha Salihu. Thanks for joining us.